good day, flatties and globe defenders. It's critical thing from down under. Okay, this is the view from the holiday apartment in Palm Cove in northern Queensland. The um, weather's been uh, okay. I've only seen one sunrise, so the rest of the time the clouds have been there. It's been raining in the morning, clears up in the afternoon. Uh, but I've only been able to see the sunrise on one morning that I've been here so far. So there are, it's a very nice place, very, very pleasant. But there are a couple of drawbacks to being here. And one of the drawbacks is that there's um, swimming is restricted because uh, there's marine stingers and there may be crocodiles and um, if you do get stung by a marine stinger they have these vinegar bottles on the beach and there's a special swimming enclosure that it's safe to swim in and uh, the lifeguards patrol it during certain hours of the day and um, this shot here, I took this one actually this morning and you can see it's cloud and a bit of rain in the distance. Now, if you were a flat earther, you'd probably say that all this was a hoax and it was designed to keep the people sw swimming not all over the beach but in this particular area here. Uh, you do the fake crocodile and fake stinger thing so that everybody would swim there. And the reason to have everybody swim there is that you can secretly brainwash them in this area. You know, that you could have speakers uh, under the sand that would broadcast subliminal messages so that people would think that when they saw a boat on the horizon, they would think it had gone over the curve. So that's how they make people believe in the globe. So, of course, that is complete silliness. But that's just an example of how conspiracy theorists and flat earthers think. Anyway, on with the topic about magnetism and measurement of weight. So on Brandy's show, I talked a little bit about it. And, and let's hear a little bit about what flat earthers have to say. Okay, I got you. How about uh, the change in weight? By location is correlated to uh, your position, your distance from the North Pole, uh, or uh, your position within the magnetic field, or do you have any other variables that you've considered and have ruled out or are protecting against controlling? The argument, and you'll see more of this, the argument is that something else could be affecting the weight change as you change latitude. They won't say what this something else is. There's no evidence to produce that something else could cause a weight change. It's just the overall throw it out there, something else. And what have I done to make sure that it's not something else that uh, is causing this, the weight to change? Now, and I do try to explain that I'm testing specifically the action of centrifugal force on the scales. I'm testing my experiment is designed to test this specifically. All the other effects such as moisture in the air, air pressure, air temperature, Earth's magnetic field, these are all eliminated because they have no measurable effect. Now, if a flat earther wants to say that there is another effect that may cause this, cause this weight change versus latitude, then they need to provide the evidence. The evidence is not there. And you'll, you'll see here that the flat earthers try to uh, shift the burden of proof by saying, Oh, you didn't count all the hairs on your head. It could be that. It could be that the number of hairs on your head change as you move. But how do we know that that's not 
the thing that's affecting your weight. You see, if you didn't count it, then your whole experiment is invalid. There's height, right? Height is a variable which affects it, right? The others, mag magnetism and all of those, the Earth's magnetic field. I think I have the means now to measure the Earth's magnetic field, and I'll see if I can do that. The people have also mentioned humidity, temperature, a whole bunch of things which in reality have an infinitesimal uh, effect on the result. And not only that, the effect will be random and it won't follow the pattern that will be given by a particular um, shape of the earth. So, yes, right, but, but you have to realise the fact, right, you have to realise the fact that you have to then eliminate those variables so that those changes are um, easily associated with one particular variable. I've eliminated those variables because they have no effect. That's how you eliminate them. The variable uh, that does affect the weight is the change in gravitational and centrifugal forces as you move to a different part of the sphere. And that's what I'm testing. And until there can be something established that the others have an effect, there's no need. I'm testing the correlation. I'm, you don't test everything at once. You don't test temperature, pressure. You manipulate as least variables as you can. And in this case, I'm manipulating the latitude and then I'm measuring the weight to determine the relationship between those things. So if you do if you are able to get a measurement of magnetism then i would say i would say uh, it, from my perspective your observation has nothing to contribute unless you have those magnetic uh readings if you come back and you say i wasn't able to get the magnetic readings i'm not going to pay attention to what you're saying this is ridiculous you could expand this to anything. This is your flat earthers get out of jail free card that I don't want to do any work and prove that magnetism has an effect. I want you to do the work and prove to me that magnetism does not have an effect. And if it turns out, as, it, as I will show here, that magnetism has no effect, then they will just move on to the next thing, which it could be air pressure, it could be temperature, they'll just keep moving on until eventually you come to the most ridiculous proposal ever and that would possibly be oh there's some magical ether that affects the uh, weight prove to me that there isn't if you come back and you say i wasn't able to get the magnetic readings i'm not going to pay attention to what you're saying yeah of course because the thing is for you to say that you would also need to establish that there is a, a relationship, a defined relationship between magnetism and how something yeah, weighs. That's, but see, that's your burden. That's your burden because you're claiming weight change due to X, but you have to eliminate magnetism as a variable. No, I don't have to eliminate magnetism. Magnetism has no known effect on weight. We have scales all over the world. There's a magnetic field all over the world. Nobody ever says, don't use your scales on Earth. They do say, avoid strong magnetic fields. But we're just using the scales as they're intended to be used on Earth. And unless you can establish this relationship, that's nothing. Okay. If you don't do yeah. that... Yeah, yeah. As I said, I intend to. But then again, you're claiming that magnitude has an effect and you'd have no evidence to say that. Yeah, I'm just I saying understand. that. I'm just I, saying I that. I, I understand. I understand. But but again, if magnetism, if, if the world is electromagnetic, okay, if you did have the, op, the uh, tools to gauge electromagnetism at any location, at any elevation, as well as the other variables, but you don't take in to account electromagnetism, that is negligence on your part. Well, I have taken into account electromagnetism or whatever. Magnetism, I have taken into account. I've said it has no effect. So unless you have some proof that it does, and I'm going to show you that it doesn't, 
then I've taken it into account. Because it is but, a reality in our world. Of course it is, just the same way as um, an ant crawling across the ground has an effect on where I walk. It's exactly, you know, you're not thinking about the magnitude of these um, effects. Uh, sorry, sorry. I don't believe that what you just said is uh, analogous. <laughs> I think my, you know, I would state it a different way in that whatever you're doing, uh, your movements are going to be correlated with quite a few different things. Okay. Correlated how? It's easy to pull these things out of the air and say the words. But unless you know that there is a correlation and working out a way of demonstrating that such correlation, there's just words that mean nothing. So if you choose that to say that it's because of Earth rotation, I'd like to know how you've ruled out all those other things that it's correlated with. So here we go again. I did not choose to say it's Earth rotation. It is a known fact that the Earth rotates. This is a verification of the effect of rotation. So this is an experiment designed to verify that the known fact of rotation of the Earth is indeed measurable. Those, what I'm saying is those, those other things are also correlated with your supposed spin of the Earth in the same way. No, it doesn't even know the meaning of the word correlated. Correlated means that there's a direct relationship that you can measure and demonstrate. So he's talking rubbish there with uh, t making statements with no evidence in order to say something is correlated you need to have a scientific basis for it first so we do have the scientific basis for the rotation of the earth affecting weight but there's no scientific basis for any of the other things that he wants to so-called correlate and the correlation has to be proven your your uh, envisioned earth rotation is correlated in a similar way with all these other variables that could also be impacting it. No, you've misused the word correlated there. There is no correlation. In order to get correlation, you need to do measurements like I've done and then mathematically analyze to see how far away the measured result is from the predicted result. That's a correlation. Okay, so just real quick, uh, I. I... I saw your previous um, weight uh, measurement videos. Did you take into account electromagnetism then? No, because okay, it's not that's an fine. effect. No, no, that's fine. That's, it's that's fine. not okay, an effect. You need okay. to prove. No, you need no, to no, prove that that no, is an no, effect. You, no, no, you cannot say it's that invariable. unless you can prove that. No, the, yes, a, yes. No. You need to prove that that has a measurable effect. All we need to do is understand that it exists. Electromagnetism in our world is a variable in our experience wherever we are located. So my question, would, my follow-up question was, okay, in this next observation, let's say you are able to measure electromagnetism in that location X. Location X, the variable of electromagnetism, the measurement is Y. Then, when you go to your other location, the electromagnetism variable is Z, okay? That's a variable. If, then, you have a change in weight, it is very possible, because you have a change in electromagnetism, that that is the cause for your change. So, another flat earther did this experiment. Okay. This is just a typical scale. A little digital scale you can buy at a gas station. This is an American nickel. All American nickels weigh five grams. I'm gonna put it on scale. I'm gonna turn the scale on. It's gonna zero out. I'm gonna kick this off. Five grams. What a surprise. Now this is a neodymium magnet and a magnet. Can I change that reading? Holy shit, look at that. Wow. I'm not touching it, folks. Do it for yourself. Game over. Right. There are several things wrong with this. I'll point them out. Number one, that particular scale I'm not using. Number two, I'm not carrying a strong magnet with me anywhere near my scales. So even if that strong magnet did affect the scales, and I'll tell you how that trick works in a minute, but 
even if it did affect those scales, there's no guarantee that a magnet would affect my scale. And anyway, I'm not carrying around a strong magnet. So I'll show you the effect of magnetism on my scales. So here I have, uh, if I zoom in on this, 60 microteslas of magnetic field and it weighs 500. And now I've got a, my speaker box next to the scales and the magnetic field is now measuring 165 microteslas. So that's nearly a three times increase in field. And as you can see, there's no measurable effect on the weight using my scales, but that's not all. Now I've done this little experiment with, with a magnet. So I've got there uh, a ring that's magnetized. Um, sorry about the reflection of the phone. But as I bring the ring next to the sensor in the phone, it goes very high and it does stick. So I have to take the phone and, and wave it around in the air to make it reset. <coughs> so now the normal magnetic field is about 48 microteslas. Now here's my El Cheapo digital scale and um, my more expensive one, I zero them both. Now take my ring, place it near the scales, not on the scales, and there is a change in the weight. I put the a ring on the scales, it weighs 4.8 grams. So the other scale, which is not affected on the outside, and when I put, now I'm trying to simulate the same effect, but I, my fingers act, do touch the top of the scales, which is what that momentarily reading is. Um, so my finger touched the scale on each of those occasions, and I weigh the ring, and it's 4.80 grams. Now, the reason why the scales are changing on those small scales is because the plate is magnetic. Now again, I've touched the scales. I'm bringing the ring as close as I can to the right hand scales. It either doesn't have uh, an, any iron in that plate or it's too big to actually affect the weight. So when I bring the magnet near that uh, magnetic plate on the top of the scales, it is attracted to the magnet. So you, this is just normal magnetic attraction and you can see it, it, it weighs in the negative direction. So it's pulling the plate upwards. So when that guy is hovering his magnet over the plate, that's another force acting on the plate. And as and then that, that's why he sees a difference in reading. It has nothing really to do with magnetism affecting a scale, and in particular, Earth's magnetism. So my scale that I've been using for the majority of my measurements is not similarly affected. So there you go. I didn't have to do this, but I did, just because it's, it's always good to uh, show flat earthers how wrong they are. And um, so can rule out magnetism, but I know it won't be of any assistance to you flat earthers who refuse to believe that the earth is rotating. As I said before, I'm sure you'll come up with other things um, that you'll say I didn't take account of, but I did. You want to bring something to the table? Bring, bring the relationship, bring the measurements, bring the evidence. Bring it on. Mmm. Oh, something smells delicious. Hey, darling, what are you cooking? I am cooking tom yum. What are you cooking? Oh, I'm just roasting a couple of flat earthers. <laughs>